so hi guys and this is turned into a welcome to my channel kind of video um it was not meant to <laughs> but it is what it is it is where we are and let's get to it i'm literally looking on my phone because i'm trying to get the notes out so how this came about i am currently going um through this season of my life where um well before i was being very lazy in terms of how i used to dress and how i used to present myself and stuff at least into my own eyes in my own eyes in my own eyes i don't know those people who have seen me around i don't know what y'all thought of it but yeah anyway so i just thought i need to be more feminine and i was thinking more feminine in my own ways and as i was on my way to my lash appointment um it just struck me like femininity in my own way what about god's way you know, Holy Spirit said femininity in God's way. So I was like thinking, oh my days, am I doing the most? So <laughs> I went and researched about femininity in God's way. But before I researched, I shared this stuff with uh, you guys on Instagram. <laughs> and um, a few of you guys said that you wanted a video of uh, what I have found out about it. So that's essentially what I'm going to talk about today. Femininity in God's way so i'm not gonna be talking about the whole thing but it's kind of a resume from what i read and what i studied in proverbs uh 31 uh there might be a part two but i'm not sure i'm not sure i'm literally doing this just like <laughs> if i see that there is there's a need for part two i will i will do it and you guys let me know let me know what you think of this one and i will do a part two so uh, in proverbs 31 i went from uh verse 11 until 17 that's the only verses i'm going to talk about in this video although i read a little bit more than that the verse says i'm reading from king james version this is very promptuous this is me before the gym coming to record because i really wanted to post this today so the heart of her husband doth safely trust in her so that he shall have no need of spoil so hold on before i carry on let me tell you that the idea of femininity or being a woman in god's eyes is not what people think nowadays it does have some hints of what i saw as an explanation of uh being a was he a feminine is he a feminist a feminine there's something related to that those group of people that say oh women and men should be equal blah 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 so those, those ones when i remember i'll put it somewhere in here so essentially they say that women should be doing the same as men and in the bible he talks about in you know the verse that i'm going to read let me resume it now so um what i have seen in those verses from 11 till 17 it was that the idea of femininity is someone who is trustworthy cares about others essentially it's more about your inside beauty than the outside beauty and if you think about it when someone even though they look beautiful outside and their character is just disgusting when they are just rude have no manners disrespectful to the eldest and all of that stuff the beauty fades like i literally look at that person and you're beautiful but you're not that it you're not that much do you get what i mean and is if someone desired that person they will just stop there because of their character it's just not matching the face <laughs> you get what i mean and then when someone is beautiful inside and you know outside they may not look <laughs> like the way that you usually like your woman or men to be like they will become desirable and it doesn't really have to be like a desirable of dating they're just like nice people to be around uh so that in general and to be honest me trying to change myself change myself it was not because i want to attract men or you know women to think oh she looks so good i want to look like her no it was literally me looking into myself and saying why am i looking like trash and even if i'm struggling i never want to look like my struggle at all uh because we're moving fate right moving fate so that's what's up that doesn't mean i'm going to be going and buying the louis vuitton or going to be buying the max makeup that's not it probably i will barely even wear makeup and my makeup is from primark 
don't judge me don't judge me that's where my pocket is at at the moment this budget that's what i call it because y'all <laughs> anyway i could afford the mac if i wanted to but a girl got budget anyway and dreams and goals anyway okay so essentially that was the whole idea why i'm doing it and looking back at the word of god is talking more about the inner of this woman that comes through the outside so whatever is in here will come out and there is actually a verse that says that there, like whatever the heart is full of it will come out right so um in many ways i taken also when it comes to beauty in god's eyes and if you are beautiful inside like you are trustworthy and some other things they are saying in here you are basically gonna achieve that beauty standard and i think it, it has a lot to do with when you're dressing it's like what are you thinking like what is your thought process you know you're putting so many jewelry and you know uh so many stuff in your hair um what is the thought behind that like why are you doing that first of all so i think it's that's what the word of god um in here is you know more about because this woman is showing to care a lot with people making sure that her family is okay uh, people outside are okay um that she comes in contact with that her life is stable so she has she's trying to get balance in her life she has a balance already uh in her life and like for example there is this this verse it says um uh, for 15 shares she she reset 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 re, mm. British. Anyway, she reset also while it is yet night. Rise it. Okay, that's why. Hey, British is British. English, English. Okay, so she riseth also while it is yet night and give it meat to her household and a portion to her maidens. So this shows that she wakes up really early. When you say here night, it's probably like, you know, imagine now the sun is out. The, the sun is out probably around like 5, no, 5 a.m. I don't know, 6 p.m. anyway. But before the sun comes out, she's awake. And what does she do? do? She ensures that there is a provision of food at home uh, for her family. So she makes sure that there is food for them and prepares the food and leaves them in the morning, in the night. Listen up. In the night, that there is enough for them to wake up and eat because essentially she's waking up before everybody else um so she's someone that cares for the others and plans ahead uh for nothing to lack hmm? and she's basically someone who is caring for her house right and if you think about that you really have to be organized <laughs> to be doing this and imagine if you slept late Girl, you're still waking up on time to make sure that there is food for the people of the house. I'm not saying that it will happen all the time. But it's something that is set in her, you know, in her day to day. Uh, and it says here as well, she's like the merchant ships. She bringeth her food from afar. So she, she's not about around here the cheapest food and whatever. No, she makes sure that the food that she gets is high quality. That it's not those trash, it's not McDonald's. <laughs> that it's healthy, whole, whole, is it whole foods? Is that what they call it? I was going to say whole grains. <laughs> anyway, it's like whole foods. So guys, she's doing, she's doing the most, this lady. So she seeketh wool and flax and work it willingly with her hands. So by the way, I'm actually reading from 15 and going up <laughs> to 11. So she seeketh wool and flax and worketh willingly with her hands. So she makes clothes. She willingly makes clothes. She creates. This woman speaks what she has and makes it up. Um, I'm not saying you have to sew, but it's not a bad skill to have as a woman. Uh, if you see, it's a lot about her actions and you know her character her action essentially character is about what you do consistently continuously right so let's say if you say that you are someone that's trustworthy something that will be consistently seen in you but if you're not 
baby is going to be detrimental it's just going to go off and you'll be known that this is not your character you are acting out of character or just not in character at all i hope that makes sense guys let me know if it doesn't in the comment section whatever so <laughs> Yeah, so if you see, a lot of it is about her actions and how she is inside. There is even a part where it says that she, um, I think that's on 17. He says, she bring it, okay, first of all, the one that talks about her, you know, putting her sleeves up, all that stuff, is on 17. He says, she girded her loins with strength and strengthened her arms. So, girded her loins is was usually, because most of them that at that time they were, Kind of like a dress and a tunic for men and stuff so and they would um wrap it around i'll try and find an image and put it somewhere here they will wrap it around so that they will be able to fight and it will be kind of like a jumpsuit essentially um so a diy jumpsuit so <laughs> um yeah so that that's the whole idea so it's kind of saying that if she whatever the problem there she would just put that up gain the strength and go and do so she is someone that acts like if it's needed she's she's there she's strong enough she'll strengthen her arms to do it um and this is like physically because they used to do that to go to war right so it's a sign of strength she's a strong woman not essentially that she has a muscle but if she has to get her hands dirty she will not killing not not like by killing people <laughs> uh, on 16 he says she considered a field and buyeth it with the fruit of her hand she planted a vineyard so her man at the start he says on 11 he says that her man trusts her trusts her so much that you know she's dealing with the family finances and she's going out there and when she finds a good field she goes and buys the field and when she buys the field she plants the field you know and it shows here that although she has a maid she doesn't send everything for her maid to do there's women that nowadays are just thinking i'm gonna get a man i'm gonna get a maid my man is gonna be rich i'm gonna be at home doing up beautiful wife pose um and then the maid is gonna do everything at home you you don't wash the dishes you don't care for your children other people are doing it for you and that is such a major problem because there's so many cases of people who by leaving the kids more with maids and all of that of course if that's the struggle of the moment that's something but essentially you're supposed to be more humble even though you have a maid don't mean leave everything in your house for her to do you have to do something and here saying that she got a vineyard and doesn't highlight the fact that she might have got help to take care of that vineyard it also she first did it what when she bought it right uh, i'm not saying to go buy a vineyard and then go do that <laughs> but it's just to show that a feminine woman in god's eyes is about her actions and her character good she's trustworthy um she's someone that you want to look up at you know look up to and the man feels proud about her like when people see her in the street with her man everybody's like look at the woman that you have you get what i mean and it's not about the beauty but the things that she does because men that have beautiful women that do nothing they might feel some kind of way when they see that other guys have a woman that do the things they do but of course she's attractive in his eyes right so i'm not saying go get a woman that you don't feel attractive physically and you just want to use her you just want to you just want to be with her because she does all of these amazing things don't do that don't do that take your taste plus these characters so yeah that's more important than outside beauty i hope that's all i've answered it i did want it to be very long so see you guys next time